upsell and cross sell Shopify tutorial. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you and present to you an application or an integration that will help you increase the sales and insight or uh, for example, make the urge on the customers wake up and buy more products. Now, all you have to do is to go on Shopify.com, select your store. If you don't have a Shopify store, I incite you to create one. You have a seven days trial. If you don't, uh, after the seven days trial, you, they will give you a uh, month uh, for one dollar. Then you will get to know the business. Then you can proceed with the uh, plans that are offered. Now let's go directly to the uh, uh, subject which is up, up sale or up, I will go to the uh, up store, up sales, up sale like this. This is uh, the app, they will guide us to the app store, up sale and cross sell, sell easy. This is the integration or the app that we are aiming for. We have to install it from the Shopify app store. It is very easy, self explanatory and very simple. You don't need a guide to make this. All you have to do is to click on install and you are good to go. They will uh, pop up the uh, icon of the of, of the app on the sidebar right here. Now we are waiting for the uh, the app to install we have a little issue going on and uh, the sale easy is created right here all we have to do is to enable the free trial you can start the free trial from 0 to 50 order orders now i have to approve the uh, operation it is very easy nothing complicated and there we have the app installed. Now we have the menu. The first thing you have to do is to enable Sell Easy. It is very simple. That will guide you to the theme editor. Then you have to enable Sell Easy, copy and paste Sell Easy key. Then save changes. Now let's go to the theme editor. I will close some unnecessary windows. Now we have uh, this code All right here we copy it then we go right here on seal easy so easy I mean then I click the here I paste the code and it is live no it's not the cell easy code I want to copy this code and put it right here yes i click on save and we are good to go we close this uh, window then we close this and it will be enabled right here and now the setups instructions are very easy there are three setups instructions the first one create a new upsell offer by clicking add offer the upsell widget uh, text and style can be customized from the setting and styling page to view the upsell widget, visit the trigger products page and check out. To make it simple, this app or uh, this integration, a sale easy, is uh, very simple. This is an app or an integration which is made to show the customers more products on the navigation of their uh, own. For example, I want to, uh, for example, let's give an example right here. Let's see the store that we have. Uh, let's go to my store. I am browsing my website or the products that are on the website. I have uh, like this t-shirt. I click on uh, the product page. It will show up the product or the landing page right here. The application or the integration will make, uh, let's type it up sale so we can see the uh, up sale this is the application I will open it up again it is closed I don't know why I didn't pin it I think and uh, let's go to the important part when for example you are going uh, through this navigation or surfing the uh, product page this app will go and suggest 
and suggest some products or similar products or uh, a, the products that will go with this selection that you have chosen okay uh, this is a very simple so you will incite and make the customers buy more products not just the one that they are interest, uh, interested in but they will buy more products now I will pin it right here it is pinned now let's uh, see the first step uh, create a upsell offer by clicking add offer I will click on add offer here the frequently bought together this is uh, the best uh, solution or the best method to make the customers see the um, uh, the products that you will sell or make them incite them I mean or stimulate them to buy more now this is the um, presentation or the type of pop-up windows that will uh, attract the customers attention you have the uh, frequently bought together you have the product add-ons for example you have a t-shirt then you want to add a hat then you had the cart add-on this is the upsell funnel the limited time offers the countdown timer the post purchase upsell for example before the uh, before the thank you page uh, will appear the confirmation order that you, they, they have paid the article and they will be shipped soon they will give them a limited order from your choice and with a an expiration date or time before going to the thank you page so the clients will see and be amazed or attracted to the method that they have been given to buy another product or an add-on product or a must-have product from your page and also you can have the thank you page add-on when they say thank you for your order they will suggest for them a offer uh, with a promotion code that you pay that you have and or a th a percent a percentage of the price and you have the volume discount let's go with the frequently bought together page we have this ad offer we have to enable it for now we have enabled it the placement is in the product page the absolute widget type is the frequently put together we have shown the uh, previous widgets type there are a lot of types now let's, let's go with this frequently bought together the trigger you can add a specific product you can add tags or you can add all the products for example let's uh, select the specific product i have a sweater or a t-shirt let's go with this number one I will add it then it will be triggering the clients to buy or to show them the uh, per, per, uh, provision or the preview of the product and its price the other product you can make it manually select the product or make it automatically you can set the maximum amount or number of the pro offer products shown discount you can enable a discount you can percentage make a percentage uh, cheapest item free free shipping let's go with a discount let's make it for example 10 percent or you can make it from percentage to the currency and now for the discount text you can make uh, choose one of the uh, the uh, text that are shown or you can make it like this it is optional discount combination you can uh, product discount can be combined with these other product discount shipping discount or discount or the details you can offer the name for uh, uh, internal reference I will not go, go with uh, this page but I will save the offer I could not please check required fields I will go with for for example upsell offer name I will make it special deal this is special deal like this and this is optional and optional i will save the offer it, this is the visitor trigger product page in your online store you can customize the widget appearance from the setting styling now let's go to the settings section since we have set the uh, sell easy trigger 
You, as you can see, this is the settings page. You have here you have the frequently bought together uh, widget, which is added. Uh, now you can add the product add-ons. You can uh, add any any type of widget that you want from any type of the or method or for example the cart page widget, the product page widget, the checkout widget, and a lot of these. You can see the settings with yourself. It is up to you. Now let's go to the styling. The styling is a very simple. You can select the widget or customize the widget. You can customize the background. For example, let's make it a green background or let's make it a yellow red. For example, like this. You have to ch change or make the color that please the uh, viewers or the customer site. The uh, title font size you can auto detect or make it minus one. The value is like this. Title font weight you can uh, choose whatever you want. You can add padding. You can to the top, to the right, the margins. You can modify the styles that you want. Make widget full width, for example. Uh, you can um, use the common styling. This is up to you. You can fully customize uh, this add-on or uh, the uh, brought together uh, widget. Now for me to see the uh, widget which is applied, I will go to my store. Then I will go to select a product. Let's go with this beige or white sweat. I will click on this. And normally it will take us to this page, this page right here. Now we are on the settings. For example, we have added a frequently bought together or a pad or product add-ons. You can edit the widget from here. You can desktop uh, position the widget below the product, or you can make it, for example, uh, at the start of the HTML, I will leave it on the below the product because I don't understand clearly these uh, param parameters or the settings. The mobile position, of course, you can customize it. The layout style, the action after clicking uh, to the cart and the option offer product click action pop up product preview. This is all customized the text and translations. This is the everything that you need to have. You click on save, then you can see on your product page or your website, you click on any item that you have, you can add, get these uh, products or get these previews on the directly on the website itself. For the widget, it will be showing something like this. This is the suggestion or the brought together or the bought together uh, products. This is uh, the product page and it will be right here. You can modify it by just going on the uh, settings section. Then you select the widget that you have created. You click on, uh, for example, uh, the uh, widget, then you can use uh, if uh, use this right here block page you can go to the theme this is the the part that I have told you that I don't understand but use a block in theme editor you can modify the position of it and all you have to do all you have to do is for example uh, make it on top or move it to a another position then all you have to do is to click on save and you are good to go. I have noticed that there are some cases or times that the widget is not visible. Also, all you have to do is to go to the scheduling a Zoom meeting for setup assistance. If it is not visible, this is uh, a assistance that you will get from the developers and they will help you to make it out. And that's all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching and I wish that you have liked the video. Uh, I hope to see you soon on the next tutorials. If you have a question, leave it on the comment section. Uh, if you have liked the video, please don't forget to make a live, uh, like and subscribe. See you guys soon.